is about science and innovation. We know very well that science and innovation have become very critical in transforming many societies, economies, and now being driven by science and technology. And uh, at a certain point, we are being left behind. But are we serious about science and innovation? Uh, thank you, Kenny. I think I'll answer you in a philosophical way, mm. the way Jesus answered those disciples who, who came from John the Baptist. Mm. said, are you the one? When you look at the science week, do we look serious? If you have been there and you have seen what is there, uh, and I'm sure so many Ugandans have had tens of thousands already coming, are we serious? Yes, we are serious. We are actually very, very serious. Um, for a long time, not just Uganda, but many African nations, they, they admired science. We saw science. We read about science and those innovators. And we started the science, science training. But the one thing that we never really figured out is how does science connect to the economy? How does science exactly connect to the economy? So we could understand things like, okay, science, I'm a medical doctor, so when you train me, I'll go and work in the hospital. Or I'm an engineer, if there is a factory I'm qualified, I will go and work in the factory. But that is just a very small portion of how science uh, links to the economy. The biggest role of science is to translate ideas innovations of the population into the items which have economic impact to solve the problems of poverty and underdeveloped. And, and right now we are really, really serious. I think you have demonstrated you can that we are very serious. And this year's this year science week is a demonstration of that. Uh, we have worked really, really hard over the past two years to make sure that uh, we understand how science leads to the economy. We have also worked very hard to mobilize innovators. Uh, there are, Uganda is a very innovative nation, and there are so many people who are innovative, but the challenges they were struggling around. Now we've worked very hard. We've started to have our touch on them, and uh, this year's Science Week is a demonstration of where we are. And we are saying, we have taken off, not that we have started, but we have taken off like a plane takes off. We are really, not everybody is yet on board, but we are coming. The government is very serious. Uh, we should soon be taking our science, technology, and innovation um, policy to, to cabinet. Mm. Uh, the president today committed himself as he was open to so many things. So we're really serious, not only at the sector, as the science, technology, and innovation secretary, but uh, we are so serious at the presidential level and uh, we're in touch with the innovators. And if you had, this year we have, flow, we, we have brought in, we invited uh, about uh, 74 innovators, I mean investors, to come and put investing into this. And tomorrow we have uh, a summit, a whole day summit with these uh, uh, investors they have come in, they have looked at where we are, and they are going to give us feedback, but they are also going to select where to invest. But we have continued now we are engaging. So I want to encourage every young innovator out there that we are really very serious, and we have created the minimum uh, human capital at this year's secretariat. When you come there, people are really serious, and we want to help you, we want to work together. If we don't have the resources in Canada, we will link you somewhere. Right. So we are very serious. But right. let me come to you, Mr. Tracy. The theme is adapt or be left behind.